So how how is Don Lemon treating this? So I wanted CNN. To, I wanted to talk about CNN because I, as I mentioned earlier, like Salon and whatnot, like they are genuinely far left in their perception. Yeah. And I wanted to go for CNN because it's a more like boomer Democrat outlet and yeah. see how they're doing. And and they're not doing very well. They they they've gone just as bad, and it's it's really weird to watch. But the the one I wanted to focus on was Don Lemon because I think he's gone the most insane. So he's he's basically just decided that, like you said, just abolish ethics. I'm not going to be held to any standards whatsoever. Yeah. Because I mean, he can't. Well, he just can't. Because yeah. if he did, then he'd have to you know disavow his own well, statements. His, his entire position would collapse in on itself, and everyone would be looking and going, "Don, you're actually a really scummy human being, aren't you?" Yeah. So um, I mean, we've spoken a lot about the the fact that you compare these, or at least everyone's comparing them to the the summer of love that was the BLM riots. <laughs> And and Don's not having it. He's he's going to stand on that ground and say this. Yeah. You know, you can't compare these. So this is the first clip. Oh, CNN tonight and D Lemon right now. I, listen, I don't mind that you're late because that was a very important interview. And I, I, listen, I'm glad you mentioned about being shot by cops because there, you cannot compare this. And I'm sick of people comparing. You can't compare what happened this summer to what happened at the Capitol. It's two different things. One was built on people, on racial justice, on criminal <laughs> justice, right? On, uh, on reform, on police not beating up or not uh, treat, or, or police okay treating um, people like. of color differently than they do whites, okay? It's just a lie. That, was, well, that I mean, is not is, a but... lie. Those are facts. Go look at them. What happened at the Capitol on Wednesday was built on a lie perpetrated by the president yeah and the people who support him. So just on that one, that merit, if you want to call it, it's not comparable. That's Those things are not comparable, stupid. so they should stop doing that and stop this whataboutism or what happened with this. No one has ever, ever gone this far in saying that a, an, an election was illegitimate with all the evidence we have that this, was the, um, that this election was legitimate. Right. So I don't understand wh you know, why Ken Cuccinelli and all these people keep going... If the president, and he says, I can't imagine. In a million that, years. In a million years. It just happened last would, week. It just happened last week. What, if he can't imagine it, then the president should come out and say, stop it with the talk about the capitals, right? The attacks and the protests on the capitals. There's nothing to protest. It was a legitimate election. Stop it with saying uh, the election was fair and square. There's nothing to protest. Everyone go home. Don't come out. And, and protest. Don't come out and riot. You shouldn't have but done what you did on Wednesday. We're against that. This is not what this exactly movement is about. Has he said all that? No, he didn't. He didn't tell people not to come out. Nope. So if he can't imagine a million years. Good luck with what, what happened. You know. Okay. So, I mean, that, that was just nuts. So I, I wrote down some notes because I want to address all of those points because yeah, yeah. I think it was amazing. So one of these movements that engaged in mass violence was based on criminal justice and therefore it's okay. Um, and the other one was based on a lie, whereas ours is based on facts, so it's okay. Right, just not true. Like, Black Lives Matter as an organization is just built on false claims yes. about bullshit cases where they keep trying to argue that this is police brutality and racism. Yeah. And it goes to court, all the evidence comes out, and the case is just demolished. Every single facts. time, it's, a, it's someone who is just a bad person. Yeah, a I mean, the really hands up, don't person. shoot narrative about Eric Garner. Yeah, complete, not complete not true. Let's talk about Tamir Rice, the one, the kid with the gun. Yeah. Like, he was walking around with a realistic uh, BB rifle. Cops were called because it was like, there's a kid walking around with a gun. Yeah. If I had done that, I'd expect to be shot. He was shot, okay? And they say, oh, this is form of racism, blah, blah, blah. No, come on. Like, and then we've got to talk about the, the Kenosha guy. We haven't had time to cover. We spoke about it before. Like, the, the case is now just being thrown out because yep. the guy reached for a knife. So you got shot. Yeah. What are you expecting? So no, this this yep. is just built on lies as well. Well, the New York Times did uh, a database for like 19, uh, 2015 uh, for every every police killing, and it, it turned out that such a small fraction of them were unarmed that there was nothing, no narrative to be spun out of it. Yeah, that's why I feel so strongly about the 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 idea that ours is based on truth, yours is based on lies. Shut up. But even then, like that's what every single side says. That's why we have ethical principles that we try to apply so we have a consistent standard. So we don't have to actually understand the merits and the demerits of each particular case, which are going to be heavily contested in every case. Mm. We can say, well, look, it doesn't matter. The process is going to follow these lines. But also the idea that this is whataboutism. Like, you know, you're saying, oh, what yeah. about this violence? And it's like, well, because you can't address it. We're, we're saying, no, but, he was in favor. Like, of it. the right wing position on this, as you have seen, is right wing as, you know, all the mainstream saying the violence in the capital was bad. We shouldn't yeah. have done that. You know, Trump himself saying, don't do that. Yeah. Okay. None of you were able to say that. None of you were able to say, they don't defended engage it. In it. You, de you defended it. So don't don't give me any of that. Um, also, the, the, you know, this has gone too far because Trump says, oh, it's illegitimate. Well, what do you, if a candidate disagrees with the result, what is he meant to do? 
shut up. Take it. Yeah, that's it. So there I want twenty six thousand troops in the capital. What are you going to do about it? Also, that you know, Trump should denounce things where well, he has. So sort of. <laughs> That they, he went further than this. It's not just yeah. that they're living in a in a parallel world where they can't even address the points that are being brought up. Like he he is full on purge as well, like with Solanda on com article. So this yeah. is him saying that the Trump supporters are siding with Nazis and the Klan. <laughs> now what you hear is, well, you can't say that everybody who voted for Trump is like the people who went into the Capitol. Response: oh, Just watch him. You can't say that. What everybody's like? Everybody who voted for Trump is I, like them. And now, I just explain to you: if you if if you are on that side, you need to think about the side you're on. I am never on the side of the Klan. I am never. <laughs> principal people, conservative or liberal, never on the Klan side. Principal people, conservative or liberal, never on the Nazi side. Principal people who are conservative are you or liberal, never on the side. Don't. That treats their their fellow Americans as less than. That says that your fellow Americans should not exist. That says your that says your fellow Americans should be in a concentration camp, or that sides with slavery, yeah, or sides with any that, sort of Donald? bigotry. Right. And if they say I don't agree with those people, I just like Trump's policy. Well, then get out of the crowd with him. Get out of the crowd. I with wasn't him. in the crowd. I just voted for Trump. You're in the crowd who voted for Trump. If you Come voted for Trump, <laughs> you voted for the person who like the Klan yeah. supported. You voted for the person who Nazis support. You voted what? for the person who the alt-right supports. Oh, you lie. That's the crowd that oh, you are God. in. You voted for the person who incited a crowd to go into the Capitol and, and potentially take the lives of lawmakers. He's nearly Took smiling. the lives of he police officers. The smile. Took the lives of innocent lives who were there on the Capitol that day. You voted on that side and the people in washington are continuing to vote on that side. so if you voted for a party that is supported by nazis or is uh, associated with the clan that means guilt by association that's enough all you have to do is vote for them fine i agree with don lemon shall we talk about the nazis who do they support well i mean i i did hear that richard spencer was a strident supporter of joe biden yeah so we'll get that up it's just richard spencer tweeting yep. out i am on team joe CNN contributor and prominent Nazi Richard Spencer was on Team Joe. Yeah, literally contributing to CNN. So, okay, yep. okay, Don Lemon. And then we'll talk about the Klan. So there's, a, I love, <laughs> I love this. So this, this is a, a fact check from, uh, I think this is Reuters. Reuters. Yeah. And I remember like Snopes did this. All of them did it because it was like people were spreading on, on this this lie on social media that uh, Biden had given a speech at a Ku Klux Klan Grand Wizard's funeral and given a eulogy about how yeah. good of a man he was. And no, 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 no. This is this is a lie. The truth is, he wasn't a Grand Wizard. He was an exalted Cyclops. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Snopes. You know, you got me there. Mostly false. <laughs> But I'm not even joking. Like they say, they say this. He was an exalted Cyclops, not a Grand Wizard. In the early 1940s, uh, Bide recruited 150 people into the West Virginia chapter of the Ku Klux Klan. He's, he's off to a, you know, this is a great yeah. guy for giving a eulogy, Joe Biden. Uh, Bird later renounced his membership of the organization. Okay, well, fair enough. You you left the organization, but, but then did what, Biden? I mean. <laughs> but then what did he go on to do? So he wanted to go into politics, and um, he continued his opposition to civil rights. And said and, and gave a filibuster against the 1964 Civil Rights Act to keep it going into law for as long as possible. And not only that, he then opposed gay marriage when it came up before he died. It's like I don't really think he he renounced his. Uh, Is his this views. the one? There's a picture of Hillary Clinton giving a kiss to. Almost certainly, yes. Right. So, but you know, th okay, the Klan support the Democrats. You know, they support Joe Biden. Well, Joe Biden gave of a the eulogy. Democrats. Well, the, yeah, but also Joe Biden <laughs> himself gave a eulogy at this guy's funeral yeah. about how great of a guy he was. And, you know, Richard Spencer's on Team Joe. Okay, Don Lemon, I agree. Anyone who voted for Joe Biden is a Nazi. I mean, is Richard Spencer member. does just sound like a Democrat from 100 years ago. Yeah. But it, it, I also wanted to point out, like, Don Lemon doesn't care about violence. I'm not taking anything from this guy. So this is an old clip yeah. of him talking back when the violence was going on uh, from Black Lives Matter. We can play that. Go on, then. Democratic cities are in chaos right now. Is this what you want from Joe Biden? And they're going to take your country away, and they're taking down the statues. And Crime the is rising crime is they rising. defund police. Yes. Oh, my gosh, it's so <laughs> Where's the bad. Line? And they get defunding police. It's like... <sighs> and the people who you saw there... Oh my God. For the most part, not, not them specifically, I'm talking about as a whole, fall for it. They fall for it, and that's fall why they do Fall for reality. Oh, God. <laughs> We're going to deal with the people believing in reality.
they they keep complaining about the Black Lives Matter rioters who are murdering people and burning things down, and they keep complaining about that they're not safe. And oh my god, I'm sick of hearing it. It's like, well, stop These burning stuff who, down yeah. and taking down the statues and defunding the police. Like, just stop doing what you're doing then. Yeah. Like, it's I, not hard. But you know it's not going to affect these two. No. That's the thing. These, and that's the thing. Don Lemon... I think he's, the, he's officially the richest CNN host now as well. I don't doubt. But he's speaking clearly from a position of privilege because this very real concern for people like the McCluskeys who have spent their life building up this particular house, spent all their life savings in it, they've had for 30 years or whatever, and then have to come out and defend it from a rampaging mob of Black Lives Matter supporters who want to burn it down. Their lives don't matter. The, yeah, their lives don't matter. Their property doesn't matter. Don Lemon isn't going to be affected by it. That's why. No. And it's it's not just a couple of instances. I wanted to play like a little mm -hmm. shoe reel that someone has made yeah, yeah. Of, of the media versus the people. So Got we can it. play the next one. No matter what happens, everybody sticks to the We're going to have team. to blow up the entire system. Oh, and you know what we're going to have to do? No, I don't know. You know that. what we're going to Yes, yeah. we, oh, what you have to do? You just got to Honestly, from what your closing argument is, you're going to have to get rid of the Electoral College. Because the people... I don't see it. Uh, because the, the minority in this country decides <laughs> who the judges are and they decide who the president is. is but that, you need a is constitutional amendment to do that. And if Democrats, if Joe Biden wins, Democrats can stack the courts and they can do that amendment and they can get it passed. Well, you that's need two-thirds vote in the Congress and three-quarters of the state legislature. They may be able to do that. Maybe. It's just crazy. Just that we're going to destroy the entire system. Yeah, just screw the system. This is CNN. We'll stack, we'll stack this the courts. You know, this isn't like marxism.org yeah, yeah. this is cnn but then let's play the the, the show reel i wanted to show if you voted for trump you voted for the person who the clan supported you voted for the person who nazis support you talked about al-qaeda what has he done in terms of incitement right that osama bin laden didn't do no external terrorists ever did this to us We've never worried like this, even after 9-11. Each of these people should be <laughs> shamed, and they're going to go back, you know, to the Olive Garden and to their the Holiday Inn that they're staying at. I wonder if you have thought through kind of how Republicans begin what someone on my team earlier today called debathification. Look, I think the challenge is that, that the, the, the rot is from the grassroots all the way to the presidency. So the rot is at every layer. There are millions of Americans, um, uh, almost all white, almost all Republicans, who somehow need to be deprogrammed. They can't even open their mouths about unity. Shut up about unity. The way that we in the media speak about this is so important. Twitter and Facebook aren't banning you because you're a conservative. They're banning you because you suck. They're banning you because you say evil shit. I covered wars abroad. I've seen ugly things that this country now resembles, but I've never seen this country more in doubt about safety at home than right now. And the enemy is us. I agree, Chris. I, the I, enemy is indeed you. I'm in complete agreement. I did want to end on that, but just some of the, the nuts things there. We need to be debarfication of the U.S. God, deprogramming them all. I mean, yeah. th th this this is this is genocidal rhetoric. We're not banning you off social media because uh, uh, we're censoring you. We're yeah. banning you because you say evil shit. It's not, I mean, the president they, of the United States saying don't commit violence. That's uh, evil shit. Unironically, uh, I think that I mean I don't want to use the word Nazi, right? Because it's such an overused, overused word. But this is exactly the kind of thing that I would expect to come out of the mouths of the Nazis when they took over. Just any socialist. But it, yeah. it, I, I had to tag socialist, at the end. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to. But Don Lemon actually has responded to the fact that this looks crazy. Yeah. So uh, Chris Cuomo giving him a chance to respond. If we can play that for the last part. There are a lot of people who voted for Trump who don't agree with you. That's fine. It doesn't. They are allowed to their own opinion. It doesn't mean that they're right. Oh, are they? They're allowed to their own opinion, and I believe what I said last night. If oh, you absolutely, that, you do. But I'm saying they that... look at this mob. They say that's not me. I'm not. I'm nothing like those people. Those, I, I would never those, have done that. But they're those all people, wrong. Those people voted the way you voted and for who you voted for. I'm just saying. So? Right, but just because um, you vote for the same people doesn't mean that you believe the same <laughs> thing. Puts you in the same crowd. Yes, it does. It puts you in the same group <laughs> of people who voted for you. Right? Voted you may not have people, the same reasons. You, you may not have the same understanding. You vote for people who have common interests if someone has a common interest uh -huh. people who vote like you have a common interest is you that's just how it is so you've you don't got a vote common interest so you don't Richard vote Spencer. for the most liberal person in the world because you're a conservative you vote for someone who shares your common interest that's how that's how voting works right that's how but it doesn't mean work. it doesn't that's mean how that political you believe affiliation work but it doesn't mean that a voter believes that their vote means what you think it means well but it also believes it also means that you share something with that person, and you must own up down, to it. it. And you have to, yeah. we have to stop saying giving people an out 
for the okay. for people who represent the worst behavior. Stop trying to make an excuse for people who voted for someone who has those beliefs. That you may think that you don't believe that, but in a way, what you're doing, you're complicit with it because you are voting for the same type of person. Okay, so and here's a reminder for all the Republicans in the Senate who you know might be thinking about flipping. This is what they think of you. This is mainstream <laughs> yeah. left leaning, you know, news. This isn't the extremities of the Democratic Party. Oh no, this, this is the corporate shills. The, the the rot is very clearly in the center of it now. Yeah. But okay, so what what's Don Lemon's overlap with Richard Spencer? I want to know, Don. You both voted for the same candidate. You both support the same candidate. The Lemon Spencer Alliance. How is it that you're both uh, on the side of white nationalism? 